Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Sentinel-1 data. In order to do this, you have to first go to this website that I will provide its URL in the caption of the video. And uh, for the first time, you need to log in into your account if you have an account. Otherwise, you need to register. As you can see, it's there are simple information regarding yourself that you have to prepare prepare for the website. For the uh, this is your name, first name. The second one is your last name, email address, as well as you have to set a password. Try to use alphabet as well as numbers and some characters the country uh, you have to demonstrate okay type of users depends on your purpose you can say here what do you want what's the usage of this data for your uh, let's say scope for example, for me, it's research and education organization. Here you have to agree with these terms and condition of this website. For the final one, you have to click on register that it's going to give you an account. Remember to have your email address as well as the password that you created here. Then you will back to this part to this panel and put your email address as well as the password that you created before then by clicking on login you will enter to the website okay in order to download sentinel one data it's better to study regarding this data as you can see here we have different instruments as well as different level polarization orbit modes and so on it's better to read this information first and then you can come and based on your purpose you can download the data in order to download for a specific area i'm going to use these tools in order to draw a rectangle if it's going to be incorrect, you can just click on this one. It's going to be removed. Then I have to define some parts of my data that I want to download. In order to do this, I'm going to go to search. And as I said, I'm going to download Sentinel-1. OK. I'm going to use for interferometry, for example. For this, I'm going to choose level 1 SLC. And here, further details regarding the Sentinel 1 data you can select. For example, the platform that you are interested in downloading the data. For example, for me, it's Sentinel 1A. And so, orbit direction that you are interested in downloading. And acquisition mode. I'm going to use IW okay for now it's okay then I'm gonna to define a specific period that I'm interested in downloading the data for me 1st of June until end of June is okay and after defining these required fields you can come to search and click on search okay as you can see from different parts we have this data whatever you want you can check and you can download for me for for example i'm gonna download this one if i click on the data you can see different information regarding the data the date also it's different modes orbit modes polarization on whatever you want for further details you can click on product information 
here its name, size, as well as the date, sensing time, or whatever you are interested, you can see here. Okay. By, down, by clicking on download, you can download your data set. As you can see here, it's started. Since it's going to take a while, I'm going to pause the video. And when it's finished, I'm going to back and continue. OK, as I said before, it's going to take a while in order to download the data. Uh, my data downloading finished, as you can see from here. In order to open the data, we can use different software for the for me, it's not, it's going to be a, an appropriate software for opening the data that I'm interested. OK. This is the folder that I saved my downloaded data. If I drag and leave it inside the software, you can see it's successfully uploaded. In order to see different bands included in the data, you can do, you can easily click double click on the bands and you can see the result. Since the size of the image is high, more than eight gigabytes, it's gonna take a while. But you can use and also other softwares like Erdas or whatever you want. For example, as you can see, the size of the image is high, but we can reduce its size by when we search for the data by filtering different parts of that one. For example, here you can see we can filter, for example, orbit direction also polarization and this is gonna decrease the volume of the size but finally our image was successfully uploaded and you can use it for further purpose of your study thank you very much for your attention hope this video will be useful for you